Hey guys, what's up? It's Charlie, and today I'm going to do, well, I'm going to make, try to induce ASMR, but only with the stuff that is on my desk currently. Nothing was prepared in advance. I got the idea and I said, okay, we're not going to add anything in. It will only be with what is on the desk. Okay. First up. Coke Zero Can. Pardon any noise you hear in the background. These mics tend to pick up a lot more than my desktop computer mic. Like the, uh, it's like a, it's a pretty quiet mic that doesn't pick up much except for your voice. But these things like to capture everything.
that, sorry. Okay. Next up. It's a little bit dusty. This is a uh, kind of like a desktop clock. That button is a little loud, hold on. is kind of cool. I like it because it's the color matches like my theme of my desk and my computer case and stuff. But it also has this like silicone stuff around it. It's like it's covered in a silicone almost like a case like what the kind of case that an, you use well that an iPod you when I first got an iPod in 2004, I think it was December 04, it had a case that was like this exact material, well, a protective case that was like clear silicone. Doesn't have a smell, but I remember that case smelled like really interesting. So these taps as good as Raffi. You gotta be honest.
silicone clock. What the hell is this? This is a uh, adapter for headphones. For I, I believe it's a quarter size jack. So this is kind of like what you put on your headphone. If, um, you know, you're converting it from 3.5 millimeter to, might be wrong on the numbers, to quarter, or to one quarter size. Never lend this adapter to anybody, because you'll never see it back. You'll ne never see it back. You'll never get it back. You'll never see it again. It's probably a big joke around musicians and stuff and producers even probably ASM artists where I'm sure a fair amount of them use these um, I use this to plug these Sony studio headphones in my into my Scarlett uh, I think it's a 2i2 hold on it's a Scarlett 2i2 focus right and it's like a, a microphone preamp box that you plug into your computer with USB so that you can use XLR mics these are what what are what are known as XLR microphones and they need XLR inputs my zoom h4n has two XLR inputs and these things are plugged into it okay this next one was not planned this next item it, it the chips fell perfectly the flaming hot Dorito chips fell perfectly to uh, thumbnail was that a thumbnail or no I don't know man all right, Xbox controller, modern Xbox controller, okay. I think I can press anything but the, the Xbox symbol because if I do, it'll pair with my computer. I don't think it would really do much though. video games like this. Like people do challenge runs in video games in Dark Souls and Elden Ring and stuff. Challenge run where you gotta hold the controller backwards. Those don't make much noise, these do.
guys feeling okay? Are you got, is that relaxing? Or, you know, it, um, hopefully, um, these, these are some, hopefully these triggers, well, mostly tapping and just clicks, etc. Most of this stuff lends, lends itself well to tapping. All right. We have a bottle of Germ X hand sanitizer. I like to kind of use this before touching my mouse and keyboard so I don't get, I guess, like gunk on them. This expires May 31st, 2024. I don't remember when I got it, but... Sorry for all the interjections, but anytime I look at sanitizer now, I think of 2020. You know, um, COVID. It was so hard to find sanitizer for a little while, as you all probably know. And then, if I remember right, it all started getting mass-produced by, like, vodka companies and cleaner companies and, like, so many companies. Um, and then it got to a point where, like, December 2020 or so, there was so much sanitizer everywhere. There were jugs, gallon jugs, automatic hand dispensers, battery-powered ones. But at first, back in like March 2020, April, I remember at Walmart it saying like something like don't take more than two sanitizer products. Because I remember buying uh, some little spray ones that I could just keep on, you know, in my pocket.
Office Space. Have anyone seen Office Space? If you haven't, go watch the movie Office Space by Mike Judge, the creator of King of the Hill, Beavis and Butthead. Oh, such a good movie. That movie still holds true in 2023, almost 2024. And I think it's from 98 or 99, that movie. Let me see here. What else do we have? Give me a sec. is. It's like up here, not down here. hearing. Usually it's a little more intense than what I hear when I go to listen to it back. Maybe it's because it's a little higher in volume. We have another controller. It's a Wii, or it's a Nintendo Switch Game Pro Game Pad. Might as well.
I don't think that this is paired. I think you have to press the home button. I got a funny story. And it just, I just got kind of like, you know, I pulled back into that moment. All right, so. My PS4 controller, um, you can pretty easily plug your PS4 controller into your computer and map the buttons and play video games with it. I th um, this was probably 2018 or 17 or something, and I was using my PS4, or my friend was using my PS4 controller on my computer. Um, and playing a game, and at some point he must have, I don't know if he touched the PlayStation button on it or if it just turned on, but turns out the whole time he was using it on my computer to play, because um, it was like a wired connection, not a Bluetooth for the computer, it was Bluetooth paired as well to my PS4, and he had accidentally bought a copy of The Crew, which is like a racing game for PS4. And I was like, like, you know, obviously he didn't know and I didn't know. But the PS4 controller was synced to the PS4 with Bluetooth. But he, you know, was using it on the computer to play the game. And while he was pressing all these buttons across like a two, three hour period, he had purchased, I saw like a 60 or $70 charge on my card, and I got like an email about it, and I was like, dude, how does that happen? Like, I get, I get it, I get how it happened, but how do you perfectly press everything to get to the shop, and then only buy that one game? And I was there the whole time, so it's not like it was a prank. It was actually pretty funny, but really annoying. I had to call the customer service and explain it to him, to the guy, and be like, yeah, man, it was it was plugged into the laptop, but paired with the PS4. Man, I almost forgot about that, but then when I saw that light, I'm like, dude, I better not be buying the special edition of Zelda expansion pack edition for a hundred bucks right now. Um, well, guys, that that was ASMR, but only using the stuff on my desk. There's some more stuff on the desk, but I'm going to be honest, not a lot of it lends itself well to ASMR, but maybe that's why it would be funny to most of it, these objects are just tapping objects, like here. Oh man, that smells good. I don't think this is pumpkin, this is, um, what does it say? Nope. Oh, it's like a Aloha Breeze by Glade.
Well, we will see you for more videos. Stick around. Get ready for more ASMR. That's the outro. That's it. That's it.